Well, one big driver of economic growth and also jobs, new businesses. I want to bring in two powerhouses in the investment world here with me. Bruce Rauner is the chairman and also principal at GTCR, which just closed a new $3.25 billion buyout fund called Fund 10. Also with me is J.B. Pritzker, who is the founder of New World Ventures, which invests mostly in young technology companies here in Chicago. One big tech company that we know about, of course, is Groupon, which we'll talk about in a moment. Now, for you two, and by the way, thanks so much for joining us here. Glad um, to be here. For the both of you, has it gotten a lot harder to find companies to put your money in? Um, the answer is yes. Uh, the markets are more and more efficient every year in the private equity and the venture capital world, more competitive. But the reality is innovation and entrepreneurship is alive and thriving in the United States, and there are a lot of good opportunities. Strangely, some of the best companies uh, in the startup world are created in recessions. Mm -hmm. Google's a great example of that. Uh, Groupon's a good example of that. And so, at least in the venture capital world, there's been quite a lot of activity. Uh, it's booming. You see that in the IPO market now. Right. And companies that were just created a couple of uh, few years ago. So are you finding more startups to invest in? We are. And there are an awful lot more people that are interested in looking at investing in startups, even at the earliest stages. Valuations? Well, they're lofty, and I think that's true across the entire spectrum of private equity and venture capital. Um, and I, I can't really explain why. There are probably macroeconomic reasons why. Um, there's certainly a lot of lending that's available to, uh, to private equity firms going in buying companies and staple financings. But in the venture world, I think it's, there's a desire to look for you know, risk-reward uh, that makes sense. And in the venture world, you can see these outsized returns. Uh, at this point in the cycle. So I think people are, are diving in head at first. At this point. Yep. Uh, Bruce, what about valuations uh, in some of the deals that you're looking at? I mean, you know, we've been hearing, for instance, that some of the sellers, they just want too much in this environment, and you wonder why. Well, the answer uh, the, to the, that question is there's plenty of capital out there. There is a surprising amount of equity capital available across the entire spectrum of stage of investing. And the private equity world, the venture capital world is relatively flush. With, uh, with money, and that competition that that money creates is driving valuations high. But what's going on here? Why? Why is that exactly? Uh, uh, there is a demographic trend where pension funds are very flush with capital across okay. corporate America and in state governments, and that, that all that pension capital is looking for a high rate of return. They can't find it in bond markets. They can't really find it very well in public markets and the stock market, but they've been able to find it historically in venture capital and in private equity, and it's, it, it's driven into our industry in large amounts. Bruce, uh, you know, looking through when I was doing some research, I mean, you've been actually pretty quite open about uh, saying that the Obama administration, the White House, uh, has been hostile to business. Why does that matter to you? Well, I think the federal government sets a tone and a standard uh, for economic growth. And I, I think you can't be pro-jobs and pro-economic growth and be anti-business. You can't be about regulation, taxes, coming up with ways for uh, to make it more expensive for employees to be hired. And unfortunately, in recent years, the federal government has been on that track. Uh, and you heard that even more. I mean, he's digging his heels in yesterday when he was talking about private jet setters and, and all that sort of stuff in his uh, in his comments yesterday. What, what did you make of that? Oh, I don't know. I think we are, we are on a bad track today in our in our attitude between the federal government and business community, and we've got to we've got to change that. What about for you? Well, you know, in the startup world, and we'll talk about that. Uh, you know, the, the, a lot of that discussion doesn't really impact it. Um, you're talking about, you know, uh, uh, at the earliest stages, one, two, three-person companies. Uh, they, they aren't affected by the discussion about regulation, unions, etc. cetera. Uh, and so what they are affected by is capital availability. And right now in the venture world, there's a lot of capital available. Uh, it's not always the case. The problem really is in companies that aren't venture capital ready. Uh, and, and, you know, folks who just want to start a restaurant, start a, a small business, a barber shop in their neighborhood, that capital is not available and the banks aren't loaning. I want to stay with technology for a moment, JB. Um, did you invest in Groupon? You didn't invest, right? We did not. Okay. Are you kicking yourself for not investing? Well, look, it's a great company uh, and the guys who created it are, are business, they're operators. So they did a great job uh, putting it together. Uh, it's a very young company, but it is a you know a rocket to the stars. So but did they great. approach you at some point? Yeah, at, later on, and uh, when they were in their later stages, we're an early stage IT investment firm, so uh, okay. so we didn't we weren't interested in kind of the multi billion dollar uh, valuations. But uh, but look, it's going to be a, a terrific IPO and a great thing for Chicago. 
I was going to say, I mean, the, 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 the fame that Groupon has generated, you know, for, for, for the social media companies and the, you know, and the, the, the coupon uh, space, um, how has that changed or has that been a game changer at all here in, in Chicago? It has, look, I, I think Groupon is a symptom of something going on in Chicago right now, which is uh, we've really got, we've created the foundation here for an unbelievably, uh, uh, you know, elaborate and well put together uh, uh, underpinning for a technology ecosystem. So uh, entrepreneurs that are starting businesses here have capital available to them. They've got talent available to them at our terrific institutions, U of I, U of C Northwestern, uh, and IIT. Uh, so it, it, Chicago is really going to end up a, a center of technology, and Groupon is, again, it's going to be a great uh, IPO, but just behind that are companies like Grubhub and Sitter City and other big companies that, that are, you're going to hear about. Are those some of your companies? Yeah, Sitter okay. City is one. Okay. Bruce, talking about IPOs, we've seen quite a few private equity firms come out to the public markets. Would you ever consider that? I don't think it would be right for our firm, and in general, I think private equity or venture capital firms that are focused on, on a particular strategy aren't very good public companies. They're too volatile and too unpredictable. The firms well, you've that seen have, a lot of these stocks go down. I mean, well, it's, it's, down with 70%. We're in, a, we're in a very, very cyclical business in, in, in private equity investing, and the reality is the firms that have gone public will see how their stocks do, but they've, they've very much changed and diversified. They're broad asset management firms. They're in mezzanine. They're in real estate. They're in other... Uh, they're in m and advisory work. So they're, they're very diversified financial services. But if you stay private, are you going to have any trouble retaining talent at all? Not at all. Frankly, I think it's easier to retain talent as a private firm because we can be, we can be flexible on the compensation to our people. Bruce, JB, thank you so much. Really appreciate you staying with us and thank talking you. about all things technology and what's going on in the private equity world.